Welcome back to the channel. Right, today, hopefully going to be taking the bonnet out of the mould. Yesterday we took the bumper out of the mould and so yesterday obviously there was a lot of paint left in the mould. Today, Tat is here and this is how we're removing the paint. The only way to, to get it off, uh, thinners isn't touching it, acetone isn't touching it. So he's heating up the, the filler and getting that off and then scra scraping the paint off. But heat definitely, definitely works for softening it and uh, it's making pretty good progress. There's a few scratches to sort out, but... It's inevitable, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of inevitable. Some of these, see, see these ones here, Tati, they'd be a nightmare to get out in here, so... See, I, it, I can't feel them with my fingernail. I, I, I know they're there, I know you can see them. I, you but... totally see them. So the bumper that comes out of the mould, yeah. every one of them's gonna have to have like the repairs done. Like every one, because we're, ne we're not going to get these yeah, yeah. scratches out of here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna so, have to wet sand them. so I was going to have a little go on here with all these here to see if we can get rid of them. Right. See how soft they get, how smooth I can get. Yeah, it. it's tricky though. It's tricky though because even wet sanding it, they then you've got to polish it. Yeah. Um, if that's what needs to be done, then that what needs to be done. Because after all, we're going to be using this all the time, aren't we? So. But but the thing is, you're going to have to hand polish it because you can't get the machine in there. You'll take that edge off. Right. You can't get the machine in there. There's no, there's, it's it's all like literally a uh, shit. To, the less scratches, the better. Like, yeah, I, I, I'm not trying to. It's no, 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 no. Um, and and that's the, the way it's feeling there. It's too hard for using like the tongue depressors to yeah, yeah. to scrape oh, it solid. off. It's, I mean, the heat's taking it off, but nice, like really quickly. But and the more you use these, the harder you have to press, and the more it gets scratched, and it's getting soft with this as well. So it's like catch me too, really. Isn't it? What I'll do is I'll have a little go at getting these out here because these are like the worst case scenario and along here. Mm. I can't, you can feel them but you can't hardly feel them and see how well I can get them out. Mm. It's gonna have to. It's these ones in these areas yeah. that are gonna be tricky but then it's tricky as fuck getting this stuff out of there yeah, so not, like... That's not really, I can't really feel that compared Yeah but you've got gloves know, on and shit as well. I know, I know but I can Listen feel to it. it. I know. Oh, if oh, you yeah. can, the, if you can feel, if you can see it, you, you're you probably going to be able to feel it as well. Like, yeah. but if you can, if you can see it in this, you'll see it in the part that's produced from it. Well, what what are you talking about? Which ones that are heavy? Yeah. Right. If you're going to wet sand it, it's like two thousand, nothing more, uh, or rather, you know, like no less than we're done. Yeah, yeah, it, it is what it is. Like I said, just just try and keep it to a minimum. For instance, if if that's got a rough edge on it, you know, like if you were to clean that up with a bit of 2000 just like take, take that roughness off it because it's been scraping a wall if you were to clean that up it'll yeah it, let's have a feel of it yeah if you if you clean the edge of that up that'll that'll make less scratches just get see, see that sharp bit on the corner there oh, yeah, no, okay. clean those up so they haven't got rough edges and it'll work a lot better that's partly where the scratches are coming from that. i could warm it up until it went soft bring the heat away and then Soft enough to like Take a big slice. Peel. Nah, you you you're gonna you're gonna, you're gonna have to work in just small areas. Yeah, yeah. Heat it, peel it, heat it, peel it, heat no, it, peel it. It is cleaning up though. Uh, I wouldn't bother jumping onto polish and now although I would sort them blades out. I would just get all that paint off and yeah, just just keep the scratch. Just just keep this yeah, just keep the scratches to a minimum. It's all it's all you can do. Right, we need to flip this over. Boom, upside down. Right, so now I'm gonna take off these fences. Those ones were in the wrong place anyway. I need to check with Jonathan what he wants us to do with these ones. But I know these ones can come off. So, end of the day. It's been a bit of a, a bit of a mish. Bumper's a lot cleaner now. A couple of little bits, but. It's going to take a little bit of work, it's got a few scratches in it and stuff, so I'm going to have to do some gel coat repairs on it. Got the all the return edges put onto this, I haven't got the fibreglass in done yet. Been uh, trying, to, trying to sort the bumper out, but 
That's gel coated up and ready to go for next time I'm here, which will probably be a couple of days off now. Poor old Jonathan here, been battering his head for several days now, too. Maybe this is day three, isn't it? The yeah, sort of, yeah. One thing's not talking to another thing, and it's like it's having a family dispute. And then he's chucked in a, what what they called an OBD reader thing. Well, an OBD reader writer. Uh, you know, for knocking your cords on and, and stuff. And all of a sudden something started working that wasn't working before, and it doesn't really make sense why that thing would cause it to, to work, so. He, he, he's stuck the no BD reader in it and it changed something <laughs> like mm. that he... I've just got it configured to passively read Just using the red scotch bright to take the shine off this, I put the gel coat on yesterday I've just finished work so it's late afternoon like but I thought I'll come through and get the return edge glass on and, and that's all the fiberglassing done for the moulds. Be a case to take it to bits and cut it up, trim the edges and clean all the flipping paint out of it because this is going to stick like crazy as well isn't it. Got a little, uh, we've got a little spitfire on the dyno. Let's see what it makes. What a beast. Yeah,